Hello guys, how are you? My name is Ayel and I'm very proud to be living in the South. And can you guess where I am right now? Alright, so I'm here at the Olympic sized pool inside the new sports complex here inside the provincial capital of Sarangani. Inside the Sarangani Provincial Capital, a new sports training center is on the rise. It is a 3.5 billion project that is envisioned to make Sarangani a sports hub in these parts of the country. It includes a full-size outdoor track, a 200-meter indoor track, a multi-sports covered court, a football field and baseball diamonds, and an aquatic center that hosts major swimming events. Sized pool is 50 meters long and six feet deep. There used to be uh, a swimming pool here before, but uh, they built it to be uh, of the standard size so that it can accommodate bigger um, swimming competitions. Right. So the old pool here was built because uh, Sarangani was one of the hosts of the Palaloma Bensa in. 1996 but it was so old already so for the new sports complex it has been improved to be a standard sized pool just like what you're seeing right now and uh, the construction of this place all of these uh, facilities here is now at 30 percent completion Hello guys, so I'm still here inside the Regional Sports Training Center inside the provincial capital of Serangani Province. And right now I'm here at the area where I'm surrounded by the seven dormitory buildings. This school year 2020-2021, this area will be the home of the Sarangani National Sports Academy. The Sarangani National Sports Academy is a standalone high school that offers special programming sports. It is envisioned to be a premier sports training institution where learners not right. only earn basic high school education but also training under national athletes and coaches. So this facility has seven dormitory buildings and uh, according to Home Rochelle, <laughs> according to the principal of the Sansa, okay, these buildings can accommodate up to 400 people. Okay? So I'm in the dorm building number seven here. Now, temporarily the dormitories will be used as uh, classrooms because the classrooms for the sports academy are still under construction. So they were able to build the dormitories first, so they will use the dorm, some of the dormitory rooms as classroom buildings. Aside from interest in sports and a promising potential, the Sarangani National Sports Academy also imposed academic requirements for its so learners. Conducting reading validation for grade 6 athletes who are, who are um, who express their interest to enroll in uh, Sarangani Sports Academy. So we are validating if they are instructional and independent leaders because we would like to balance their physical uh, capabilities and their academic abilities as well. So it's a requirement for admission? Yes, it is a requirement before, before a grade 6 people can enter SANSA. It must be an instructional at least or better an independent 
Thank you. Ang isa sa mga purpose namin why we have this validation is to ensure that all the potential um, enrolling of the National Sports Academy ay uh, reader talaga sila. Because our one of our battle, battle cry here in our division of is now in And we want also to ensure that all the athletes admitted in the National Sports Academy are all um, reader. Because we are not only focusing on the physical development of our learners, but we are talking about the holistic development. We're not only promoting um, sports at the same time, we will excel in sports and academics as well. If Sarangani was able to produce a Mani Pacquiao despite the absence of a proper training facility, imagine how many Mani Pacquiaos we can produce with a facility like the Sarangani Sports Training Center.